Hello, I'm Sienna Bose. Welcome to my channel, Learning Balance Life, and today we're going to talk about an Olympiad standard question on physics on the topic of light and shadow. But today's question is a bit of a special kind of a question that we call an assertion reasoning type question. In this question, we first need to understand what an assertion is, what is a reason, and how to analyze which one is the correct option in between the options that we have over here. So first, let's understand what is an assertion. An assertion is a declaration, a declarative statement that says that this is going to happen or not. And that every declarative, declarative statement has some reason behind it, an explanation that we call the reason. So here we have assertion denoted by A and reason denoted by R. Now we can move on to understanding how to analyze the correct option. There will be a few possibilities based on the statements given. Among those, you have to choose the correct possibility as per the question given in, oh, with, given in front of you. So first we have both A and R are true, and R is the correct explanation of A. In this, the assertion and the reason are correct, and R has a complete relation with A. So R is the correct explanation of A. In the next statement, we have both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. In this, we have the assertion and reason both are correct, but R has no relation with A. So R is not the correct explanation of A. Next, we have A is true, but R is false. A has um, means A is true, assertion is true, and the reason is false. That means totally wrong. So there isn't any relation with these. Now we have the last option as A is false, but R is true. In this, assertion is false, and the reason is true. Now that we have understood the options, we need to understand how to analyze these very quickly, like how to eliminate options. So when we have the assertion and reason, first we have to read the question and understand whether the assertion or reason, if both are correct, or if one thing is wrong. If both are correct, then we can immediately eliminate the options over here. That is, A is true, but R is false, and A is false, and R is true. We can eliminate these two options because, anyway, both are correct, so one of them cannot be false. So, C and D, in this case, can be eliminated, and we have to think of A and B. Then we can move on to understanding further whether R is the correct explanation or not the correct explanation of A. And if any one of them is wrong, and the after worried and understand that, oh, something, one of them is wrong, then you can eliminate A and B immediately because there isn't any, uh, uh, any scene that both A and R will be true. So those two options, A and B in this case, can be eliminated, and then we have to think which one is wrong and which one is correct, and then we can decide whether A is true but R is false, or A is false but R is true. Now that we've understood how to analyze the correct option very quickly, we can finally move on to our question. Assertion. Shadows formed using fluorescent tube lights are much sharper and clearer than that of candles and electric bulbs. Reason. An electric bulb and candle are quite small sources of light than a fluorescent tube light, due to which most of the light is obstructed by the object and the shadow becomes more, much more clearer. So obviously you can understand that assertion is wrong because the reason behind it is that the fluorescent tube lights are quite big sources of lights. So they are not being obstructed, means most of the light is not getting obstructed by any object for which the image may become very clear. But in the case of candles and electric bulbs, their images are quite clear because the images formed by them are quite clear because they are small sources of light. And most of the light is getting obstructed by the object, making the object, well, it makes object shadow look very clear on the screen. So obviously we can understand that the assertion is wrong and our reason is correct. So from here itself, it means when, we, when I came to know that assertion was wrong, I could immediately el eliminate these two options. And once I came to know the reason was correct, I finally know that option D is correct. 
that A is false, assertion is false, and reason is true. So we can tick this option and this is our correct answer. Now I'm giving you a few moments to look at the question and the option and understand how to solve these kind of questions and enhance your concept. Hope you enjoyed solving the sum with me and please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.